So hot on the heels of a new, of course, first look at Deep Forest Raceway from Gran Turismo 7 yesterday, which of course I covered here on the channel as well, today we have the expected reveal at the eSports live events of the Porsche Vision GT car. And of course this has been an anticipated car for quite some time, and it's interesting to note that it was indeed this car that we've been able to see for months at this point in some of the promotional art for the game. That kind of iconic shot of the red and blue car. Of course, we already knew that the red car in that artwork was the Mazda RX Vision. The blue one we have now, of course, seen to be the Porsche Vision GT. Now, not a huge amount was released at the event in terms of actual performance, but what we do know is that it's a two-seater and it is fully electric, which is not too surprising. Of course, Porsche with the Taycan in particular is really pushing that. The Taycan is easily my favourite electric car overall, so I'm pretty keen to use this in the game. Electric cars don't typically have as much tuning potential, so it won't necessarily be as fun in that way. But in terms of actual performance, we already know one thing for sure, and that's the acceleration's going to be extremely quick. In terms of top-end speed, I'm pretty keen to see what this one ends up like in GT7, and it's fairly obviously, I would say, going to end up in the Group X category. You can kind of say that without even seeing it. But in terms of performance, I am very keen, as I said, to see what it's working with, because even on a production scale, the Taycan is already a very quick car, and it's fairly large and fairly heavy. This will doubtless have at least that much power, probably a lot less weight, so I think it could well end up being one of the most engaging, most fun, maybe even fastest, around a track at least, Vision GT cars that we've had. Maybe not in a straight line, but through corners. I have high hopes for this one, I think it's going to be very good. So overall, it's a relatively brief update. As I said, we don't know a huge amount about the rest of the car yet. There is supposedly going to be a video on Porsche's own YouTube channel about this car as well, so I may do further you know, breakdowns if they release additional information there. But for now, this is the news, our first look at the car, and it's a pretty nice looking machine as well. But overall, that's it for this particular vid. Of course, check out the other Gran Turismo content and breakdowns that I've already done if you haven't been keeping up with those. And if you want to see all GT7 news, breaking leaks and all that kind of stuff here on the channel, then of course stick around for more. But until next time, I'll see you then. And for now, as always, thanks for watching.